parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the raw Monday. What the hell was I calling this before? Recap. Recap. The Monday, the Merry Mayhem wrap up. Sure, that's it. It is Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I was literally in Los Angeles this morning. You haven't been home. I have. I literally have not been to my house. No, no. we came from the studio, grab, grab some food to catch up a little bit with the wife, with the wife, lady producer. And uh, and uh, got here, worked on some stuff, uh, tried to decontain a bomb situation that was my laptop. Uh, we'll talk about that on Awesome Cast, I'm sure. Yeah, big um, hurt locker so I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I, I got a little bit. I'm sounding uh, only slightly better than Michael Cole at the end of uh, 19 hours of WrestleMania. And I got cameraman Rob is here with me. Hey there. First time on one of these shows in a long, 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 long time. It's been a while. Been Have a you while. been on this year? Not this well, not this calendar year. Not this no. calendar year. But I, don't, I, yeah. I think I got everything. I think I got all the bells and whistles on. You know, it's it's you know after a weekend out, you know, uh, I kind of be like, okay, how do I do this again? And what was this cord for that I bought off of Amazon? And then you Anyways, come, and then you come back and you're short a few bells or a few whistles. It's like where? Yeah, where, yeah. Everything? Did we push all the buttons? Are we even broadcasting right now? Mm-hmm. Are you guys out there, internet? Anyways, uh, I think you are. Oh, wait, I think you guys definitely are. Now that I finally found you on my uh, phone over here. That'll do it. What else, what's up, Brandon the Casey? What is, what is up, Alex Cars? Uh, Billy's out there as well, and uh, a whole bunch of people. But anyways, gosh, this crowd was the worst Raw After Mania crowd in years. The crowd is still waking up from... Uh, the main from Mania this morning. No, they're still waking up from being at the train station at 3.30 in the morning, apparently. <laughs> so, which I, I'm hearing that. I hear that the the New, J- New, New Jersey governor has uh, uh, established this will not happen again. And I think New Jersey Transit blamed uh, WWE for it. Now, the Mad Mike did not make it. It is, one, first, happy Rex Manning Day and also happy Mad Mike Day. Uh, as they are both one and the same now. And also, Mad Mike um, um, is recovering uh, from WrestleMania weekend uh, in his home state, in the shadow of New York City, um, <laughs> wherever that may be, where people can't get a train out. Um, but uh, while everybody was doing that stuff up there, uh, I was in Los Angeles for work. And yes, I will be missing WrestleMania again next year. But I'll be a little closer because I'll be in Texas. I was going to say, because it's in Florida, so it's so you have less of an Florida. excuse. No, I will actually be. Well, more of an excuse, rather. I will actually Florida. probably be in Tampa hmm. a month before WrestleMania. So you're not just going to s- stick it out there and no, just No, I'm not just going to hang out, out because i got to oh. be in Texas to do work yeah. WrestleMania weekend, it sounds like. So the streak continues. The Sorg's missing WrestleMania streak continues. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. Rob, I may be sending you on some assignments or something next year. Who knows? <coughs> see, I'm doing so well with this. We'll but see anyway, how work goes. Yep. Yeah, we'll see how work goes. We'll see if I can survive this podcast. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I might throw a cough drop in, so I apologize on the audio. Um, so as I was saying, I was in uh, Los Angeles this weekend, and this is my good in wrestling as we uh, – I know there's so much going on here, and I think we're going to analyze a little bit of wrestling, ma- uh, wrestling WrestleMania week. Uh, tomorrow night when we have uh, Victor Benjamin, the Savage Gentleman, as well as Lady Frost with us, who participated in a lot of WrestleMania week festivities, including Blackcraft Wrestling, um, whatever night that was. I don't know. It really blends it's, together in my yeah. head right now. <laughs> Plus, it's, I mean, yeah, it's it's good to have people that were kind of working on the fringe of, oh, absolutely. of the bigger stuff. So absolutely. And there's so many more. There, there's there's uh, people that we were messaging with uh, over the week. The main event won belts over at Blackcraft. Um uh, let's see. They were there. Uh, I, I saw Sean Phoenix was hanging out all weekend up there. Joe Dabrowski had his usual um, um, booth at WrestleCon 
and uh, reports of what the hell is Virgil up to this weekend. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, we had, you know, Nick Lendl was keeping busy with Nick uh, Lendl, at Madison Square Garden. Friend of the show, yeah. Nick Lendl, ha- <laughs> Lendl has been in the studio, has been in the old Mayhem Studios here four blocks away in the, the OG. He is the first ring announcer for a wrestling show in 63 years, I think. What did they? Or, or was it since 63? Or since, since 63, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. A long freaking time. Our boy Nick Lendl, this guy, uh, and, and and he's got some, a great post about how he got there. And, like, and he didn't even realize. And even just like two hours ago, he apparently just landed in Pittsburgh and, and, and you know, Cause, cause and saw his daughters and, and everything. And it was just, uh, it was just like, because it's probably one of those things that when you get the job, you're not thinking of that necessarily. No, it's no. like you're more psyched, like, oh, I got it. And then once you're, you know, it, it kind of settles in. There's it's like, it's like, oh, holy shit, that's right. It, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. there's this, this, and well, that. Well, even, even to the point where, like, stuff this weekend, like, there was a, I was telling you a little bit about, mm-hmm. you know, we both do work with uh, um, Premier Wrestling and, right. and Welterweight Wrestling. And we're watching, like, these, the, you know, like the Gargano stuff. And I'm just like they're doing that package with Cleveland, and I'm just like looking. I'm like, but that's that's Turner's Hall, like that's where that's where we shoot that, and that's where AIW used to do shows, mm-hmm. and and that's where Gargano started training to wrestle was at Turner's Hall, um, or they talk about like him wrestling behind the Gargano cap- catering in 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 the lot behind, mm-hmm. and I was like, well, yeah, those are the TV tapings for Prime Wrestling, that. I had a hand with, you know. And how long ago was that? That was how. Oh, that's a little before my time. That's before, that's before your time. Yeah. It's, uh, I want to say like 20, 2012, 2013, yeah. probably at this point, right? Uh, all of those available at IndieWrestling.us. You can go check out the Prime Cuts, Volume 1 and 2 of uh, Johnny Gargano over there, as well as several ep- uh, matches from other promotions. Just search for his name. And and we have a lot of old interviews with him, too. And you can probably tell by looking at the ceiling of Turner's Hall about oh, it. Yes. That might be. It's, that I notice true. every month, it's, 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 there's fewer and fewer tiles up there. <laughs> but... It's, it well, it's it's like it's like uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance over the West Newton uh, Gymnasium. Uh, you can tell what year it is by how dirty the gymnasium is. Yeah, uh, like how how dirty is that basketball hoop behind uh, behind yeah. <laughs> behind hard cam? You know, as you go through. But anyways, so uh, I was messaging with Billy today, and uh, you know, he, he was like, "How oh, it looks like you had some fun out there in L.A. and stuff." I was like, "Yes, I make my own mania." Mm-hmm. And I think that's going to be since since I, I don't have the opportunity to go to WrestleMania with my schedule. Uh, with some of my clients, um, I, I I think that's going to be make your own mania. I mean, RJ yeah. had his at, at res, this every day is my WrestleMania mm-hmm. video, and even then it too, it's like you can't, you know, it's like oh, I'm not going to stay in the hotel room and watch the wrestling that's going on in New York. I'm going to go find. Yeah, and <laughs> I and wrestling. I've been and I've been really <laughs> kind of looking to watch wrestling where I go. We found some. Uh, I went and checked out Metroplex Wrestling. We talked about on the show with Fort Worth in Fort Worth, uh, Texas, mm-hmm. or uh, between or whatever that in between that and Dallas is. Um, you know, we went to this one I'll talk about in LA in a moment, and I actually even found a show already mm-hmm. for when I go to Tennessee this weekend. Uh, uh, outside of Nashville and Cookville, uh, uh, not far from that is is a show that's going to have Billy Gunn on it, mm-hmm. as well as uh, um, Lance. Yeah, Lance, not Lance Storm. No, no, we were just looking at that too. I was just looking at. Wait, why did I forget his name? Cowboy James Storm. James Storm. James and Storm. Then from somebody Wrestling. from AEW. Somebody from Cutler? AEW. I don't know. Maybe Cutler or something. Yeah. Uh, but the Carnies are on it too. We've seen in IWC. Yeah. So excited about that. Excited about uh, and we'll. See, I don't want to jinx it, but uh, uh, Alex, yeah, I think is you know we're, we might be going to something cool when I go back to California next month. Um, like I'm going to be going to Michigan, going to Rochester, and we'll see what happens. But but this weekend. I got to check out first show with Amp Up Wrestling got canceled. It was going to be in downtown L.A. And I was like, I, I've never seen a show in downtown L.A., mm-hmm. right? Well, I've been to, you know, Lucha Underground over in Boyle Heights or, yeah, or that. I didn't know the proximity of that. That weird, that weird blood show that happened at a VFW in front of 12 people yeah. uh, in Sun City <laughs> in the north, right? But um, I got to go check out. Uh, wearing the shirt right now. Hold on. I'm going to get this right. Pure Lucha Wrestling, Puro Russo. Puro Resu. They didn't, they didn't say this too much. Um, I know. Uh, Lucha Wrestling at the Anaki, Anoki Dojo. That's what she, yeah, that's why I thought it said it was And Inoki in uh, Huntington, 
Huntington Park, I think it was, which is not far from um, um, from uh, uh, Boyle Heights. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually recognized some landmarks from when I, I was in ba- uh, Boyle Heights on my very first trip out that way. Um, this is a you go to a warehouse. <laughs> There's like three like re- rows of chairs. Wrestling is going to happen here. And wrestling is going <laughs> to yeah. happen here. Uh, I loved it. Met up with Alex Cars out there. We got to hang out. Um, oh, we, uh, let's see. S uh, S C U P. Uh, uh, we're ba- hold on. Oh, he's talk- oh, they're talking about some other promotions in the oh. chat room. Anyways, our West Coasters are talking about their their promotions out there. But no, I got to check this out. Um, it was a fun show. It was. Uh, it, it, it's weird. Because, again, I'm wearing a shirt that says Lucha, mm-hmm. has Spanish on it, and also has Japanese on the back. <laughs> so it's an interesting mix. Um, you know, kind of a very uh, – you can see the influences. Um, this is a promotion that, I, you know, maybe didn't have bigger names because it was WrestleMania weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, Drago is going to be there in a couple weeks and, and Delilah Doom. I always miss friend of the show, Delilah Doom. I want to finally meet Delilah Doom. Who we've interviewed like three times on the show. Yeah, because she was, I mean, she was in our backyard and you weren't at the She was in the backyard. You filmed that show. And I was probably in California. Yeah, because I filmed those like seven episodes of Rise (laughs) or whatever where she was on every one of them. Rise with an eye, let's qualify that. Yeah, with an eye. But no, it was a lot of fun. It was a very Lucha show, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I was was messaging our our friend back here to translate some things that were happening in the crowd. Like I had to figure out what the cheeky, cheeky. Oh, help me out, uh, Chiquino, Chiquino oh. versus Chicanrella, which uh, the guy had El Mas Chicarino. There's probably some silent back. L's in there. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm messing yeah. this up, and plus my voice is going, mm-hmm. and and I know it translated like bad motherfucker or something, according to uh, my sources. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was um, probably about four, five, six matches all night, mostly tags, because they did the picture of the roster. At the beginning, and I'm just like, is this going to be a long show, or is this like all tag team matches? Is there like 40 people on the show or something? Yeah, it, it was. I mean, it was a significant yeah. amount. I have the pictures on my Twitter at Sorgatron if you want to check that out from uh, Saturday night. Um, but uh, it, yeah, it was mostly they they had the the uh, intergender match, and then they had the main event was Blood Eagle, mm-hmm. a loose drawn name Blood Eagle against Funny Bone. I had not seen Funny Bone before. Mm-hmm. And that was that was a new one for me. Um, I was impressed by his late latex makeup uh, situation. I was gonna say, didn't he have like a shirt or something over here? Oh no, I got it. I have a I have a bandana. No. Oh, that's I what it was. I have a skull yeah. bandana that was now kind of on the half mask. Or yeah, the half mask that's now on C three PO over yeah. here with a uh, smart uh, hat mm-hmm. from our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. That you can go over there. Uh, great promotion going on there for Autism Month uh, as well. But anyways, um, no, it was really good. Uh, Funny Bone is somebody I've heard about. I think, from what I've told, I think he works a lot in the north, uh, yeah, northwest. Mm-hmm. Um, Chingon versus Chigona. No, I figured, I thought it was Chinga, Chinga Ella. I thought there was an Ella in it. But anyways, <laughs> um, Tina's letting me know Funny Bone is prominent in the FSW promotion out of Las Vegas. Okay, as so well, it's kind of so uh, really cool. Probably works up and down the. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Coast from there, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, NorCal stuff as well. They're saying, um, but no. It, it, first time seeing it. again somebody that obviously I'm not, I don't think he comes this way a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, being somebody based on the West Coast, uh, but uh, you know, a lot of fun. Really good match. Um, they did like a ten person lucha tag. Um, it was it was good. It was a lot of fun. Nice little intimate show, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it was cool. Um, the pro should actually like hit me up and wanted one of the clips I got of the main event. Mm-hmm. Like I have like thirty seconds of them like fighting on the apron and doing a pile driver or something, and uh, and it was pretty, it was pretty straightforward wrestling. Like not like say the, as far as was there any sort of angles or stories going on? No, no, it was match the match, and I don't know. They so were they were talking something about because. Supposedly somebody no showed, and that's why Funny Bone was there or something. And I don't know what the story was there. I didn't catch who the name was. So it was pretty pretty accessible. Just mm-hmm. you know, oh okay, it's gonna yeah. be wrestling. Yeah, I no, mean pretty accessible. No <laughs> other than like the requirement of yeah. like knowing Spanish to know all what everybody was laughing about during the ten man tag. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still, like I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's right. just it's just like when I went to Lucha Underground or the show across the street yeah. here. It's just like I don't know entirely what's going on. But I just know everybody is loving it, and 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 I'm just you know, and, and I'm really into it. Yeah, because I know with the 
you know, kind of the lucha based shows we've had around here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, okay, we know most of the people on those. Where right. it was like everybody wants to get on the show, and that's why there's a hundred dudes, you know, <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, on a show with six matches or yeah, something. You but, know, but, but then <laughs> then you get into like Shocker comes out right. and people are chanting things and. Yeah. We don't know what you're supposed to chant when Shocker comes yeah, out. Even though it's we like, don't, oh, we, I'm familiar with yeah, him. Yeah, like, I yeah. know Shocker, but I know Shocker from, like, what? Like, TNA and WCW or something, right? Right. Um, I don't know. I had to, um, I, you know, I don't know what 100%, you know, whatever the Spanish for handsome mm-hmm. was that I figured out, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, but these, they, like, they're watching CML, CMLL. They are going to these shows. Uh, for the guys like Ultimo Dragon, this guy, and right. and Sam Adonis and everything, right? And they know the stuff to do, mm-hmm. right? We're like, we know the stuff to do when we go to an IWC show right. and you chant, you know, Bulk can't read, yeah. right? What's up, Bulk Nasty? And, uh, <laughs> and, and that kind of reminds me, too, like you said, this other, you know, these other shows coming up, like the one that's got Billy Gunn and James Storm and all this, you know, where it's it helps, you know, to, again, if you're going into a new promotion – to be like, oh, okay, I know this guy and his deal, and he's going yeah. at it with one of the locals. And like, let's, like let's when see we, what else happens. Like when we had Billy Gunn, and mm-hmm. he was, it was him and Dylan Bostic, right? And it's like, okay, we know all about Dylan. Yeah. And this is the, you know. We know about Dylan. So everything makes sense to us, yeah. even if it doesn't even make sense to the Billy Gunn. Right. You know? <laughs> so it's so it's kind of the same, you, you know, again, it's a good way to kind of get to know the locals of any other promotion that you yeah, might be even, seeing. Yeah, even when I went to Metroplex, they were really good about, there was actually a lot of, like, explainer videos they did yeah like they're like last time because they were a weekly show a weekly show right? right last week shane strickland was here and this happened with the beta with the guy with the belt and everything and da 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 mm-hmm. right uh, you know there was like they're doing story and and the week the week because generally the people come to that promotion mm-hmm. are literally like it's saturday night i'm going to drop my five ten bucks and come out and see the show in the strip mall right you know and uh and these guys seem to run uh, I'm get, it looks like maybe every other week, um, mm-hmm. from the looks of things, if if, if uh, this month is any indication. A lot of fun. A little confused that it said 7 p.m. bell time. You want to guess what time they started? Well, is it Indy 7 o'clock? Mm, I don't know if this is Lucha 7 o'clock. Yeah. I don't know if it's the time zone changed yeah. from my end. Is it about 7, 7.50 maybe? Oh, it was about 8.05. Oh, okay. So I was, yeah, I I was, was treated to about an hour of the kids' training class. Uh, uh, playing in the ring, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm just like, there's nobody here, and the wrestlers like you're seeing guys as they're still showing up. Yeah, people <laughs> like the wrestlers were still showing up, and yeah. I'm just like, did I miss something? Is the poster wrong? Mm-hmm. Am I in the right place? But it was fine. It was a but, great show. It was amazing. That's the thing too about indie wrestling in general is if you're familiar with that, you're just like seven o'clock. Okay, it's a suggestion. Yeah. yeah. And again, <laughs> go like, check it out. We'd like to start at seven o'clock, but <laughs> seven is yeah. as we as we know from Meadville for right. uh, the, the superstars. Who knows oh, how. Okay. Hey, we've got that show coming up who, this week. Yeah, who knows how long that line for Sting is going to be? Yeah, but cause, anyways, because that's um, one of those things where it's great that we get the big names and stuff, mm-hmm. and maybe they should change it year to year as far as getting that meet and greet started. Yeah, earlier, so that we're not Some alterations. So that we're not waiting three hours. But for anyways, Ric Flair if you want to check out <laughs> uh, what I've been talking about here, they see it's the Inoki uh, Dojo. Just look up Inoki Dojo on Facebook or. Um, or on Twitter again. If you follow me over on uh, fa- my, me Michael Sorg on Facebook or Sorgatron on Twitter, uh, there's some stuff from Saturday Night from that. Uh, a lot of little clips and pictures and stuff uh, for you to check out. A little bit of that. Yeah, eight oh five live. <laughs> this is Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also on the side, Billy brings up a good point here uh, in the chat room. Uh, good thoughts to Dylan Bostic. He had a car accident, I believe, last week. Uh, again, if you want to support, other than sending good vibes or thoughts and prayers. Um, or, or or you know, on on the social media to him and his accounts over there, buys merch, help him out. He, he's not going to be able to wrestle for. Uh, so I think I, he said like a couple months. Yeah, I think he said like basically all, everything for the next two months is off the table, uh, including he was supposed to be involved in a tag match against uh, main event and MVP so, this weekend. And I wonder if that affects Super Indie at all. Um, possibly. I don't know. Was he? Qu- middle, I don't think he was qualified. That's middle, no, because he beat Palace. Oh, he did. That's so, right. So he's in. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I I think that's on the line of it, and, and we'll see how his recovery goes. Yeah. Like but uh, good vibes to Dylan, uh, 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 of course. So, anyways, it is uh, Monday. Monday Night Raw happened, and I, well, we, we were just reading a message. Like somebody was saying about how that was the crappiest Monday Night crowd ever. 
So I'm trying to think. They well, I, I think Tina like, was was going off about uh, it on, uh, at the beginning of the show. But it can't help that there was the bait and switch at the end, of course, which kind of puts people out on a a little bit. There, little there, was, bit. A, there was a this is bullshit chant yeah. <laughs> when uh, we lost our title versus title that we advertised the entire show. Yeah, man, if you're gonna bait and switch people, and you know, I understand it's a it's the show. We bring them to the next. You get the the stuff at the pay per view. We get the real match, but we also sometimes don't get the real match at the pay per view. And then you you advertise this for for two and a half hours, and then give us five minutes, and then we turn into a tag team <laughs> match when the bar out of nowhere for no damn reason seemed to come out and spoil the main event. Or it would have been you know maybe a little more yeah forgivable like you said if we would have had more than five minutes yeah you know, yeah and maybe have a big you know one of the big returns at the end you know like oh here's you know you know like say lesnar comes in and just destroys shit and that's the end of the show or something but mm. you know like some because this show seemed kind of um as far as big returns go or anything lighter, like that but we just there had a bunch of call-ups because we had what is it lars sullivan showed lars up sullivan, messed up angle taker taker Sami Zayn, mm -hmm. um, but nothing as far as again like a big clip. Well, you know, speaking of Lesnar, like let's say it was it several years ago now when he came back? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it like the night after Mania when he came out and no like, wasted? That was after he'd been gone forever. No though, giant too. splashes. Yeah, <laughs> we had Kofi come out, so yeah. I don't know what that does for SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that just means we get down to business and some good wrestling on SmackDown, of course. Yeah. Um, plus, I, I think it feels like everybody's in a waiting pattern. For the uh, the the Jacob next yeah. week, but, so but yeah, it's, it's so it's almost like they're holding on, or you know, seeing what they're gonna do with that before they go and they start Kofi's next feud or Rollins's next feud, mm -hmm. because again, it, yeah, like I said, it's like it, it would have been nice <laughs> at the end of this show to see like, oh, okay, this is what direction yeah. we're going in for somebody, but and, and aside from that, uh, Kurt Angle got a nice moment. Um, again, we had Undertaker Elias, which uh, you know I will still ride the Elias is in the best possible position as a heel character that doesn't have to do a match. And 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 like no. you're saying too, it's like oh, can you imagine like five years ago or whatever, whenever mm -hmm. he was still around here, <laughs> if you could tell him, hey, when I, in when five was, years you're gonna, this is what you're gonna be, be doing. Something if I was having a beer with him and yeah. uh, h him in, with in Philadelphia next to uh, uh, Tony News, who, by the way, also won the Cruiserweight title at WrestleMania on the kickoff show mm -hmm. um, the, uh, uh, last night, and being like, uh, uh, hey, you know, one day, one day, one, one WrestleMania weekend, you're going to have uh, John Cena rolling back the Thugonomics. <laughs> you know, you're going to bring back the Doctor of Thugonomics. Logan Shulo. And this is going to be the Front second. Man, heavy Metal Jesus. And this is going to be the second year in a row that you've got Cena at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and you got Undertaker on freaking. Yeah. Like, I tell you, man, you got to watch that. This is the this was the weekend, um, be it WWE properties or otherwise, mm -hmm. where you got to. And I, I count Cleveland in this. I, I You know, there's enough. You know, I, I I count Cleveland as a, a that influence surrogate here. hometown in the wrestling world. We're in that <laughs> kind of that circuit. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, there's 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 incredible talent coming out of both of these, and it was a very good week for like I say everybody from the main event. Hello, Duke in the chat room. Uh, to you know, uh, Victor and Frost. Uh, to uh, even just uh, our friends getting into. Like Victor and Larusso getting into the program apparently for WrestleMania. And speaking speaking of uh yeah like you know Victor and Frost and the main event and stuff they, you know they were on the Black Craft show right yeah so they saw a man murdered uh, <laughs> on their show. Oh my God! In the Pittsburgh, I mean, I I I'll say it this way, and maybe we'll talk about this a little bit tomorrow. And then you say that's there got is, connections to down the street here too. And I understand there's some there's some other things that happen with that show that that's and I haven't heard all the stories on on exactly everything, but some of the stuff that at least they were doing were interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Blackcraft, for better or for worse, is the most Pittsburgh indie show not in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, I, and that's there's there's a lot of reasons I say that. They're not just because, like, I watch it, it's like, ah, oh, it's a Pittsburgh show. It's like, no. Or a lot of ties. There's a lot of ties. <laughs> yeah. Again, we talk about that home, that uh, Cleveland, uh, uh, Pittsburgh region. Like, there's a lot of ties back here. And it's not just the wrestlers at this point. 
and it's pretty it's pretty fascinating mm. to see that happen but anyways um and sorry i'm still i'm still working on this cough drop trying not to cough at you guys uh but anyways um uh the, the good good mention in the chat room good catch in the chat room yeah no more no roman reigns tonight but then again so many people had stuff in moments last night to bring them even into a three-hour raw is an issue. Plus, plus, even with with Roman, it's like he, you know, you know, he had had a match on Mania, but there wasn't really anything kind of carrying over out of that to mm. where it's it's you know, oh, what happens next in that mm -hmm. storyline? Because it really isn't. No, no, no. I think it's yeah. everybody. Everything like they're they're not rushing into the next stuff. They announced a pay per view for a month over a month from now in in may for for money in the bank right um we did not say that we're going back to saudi arabia austria australia or anything yet mm -hmm. uh we got the shake up next week so i think they're we just holding for the shake up makes sense so it might be another month before we even really get get a picture of what's going we're gonna on just anyway. have like i felt like tonight was felt booked as a live show mm -hmm. Like, it you know, it, it had those those underpinnings of just kind of random stuff going on. You know, Undertaker's just going to show up for really no reason. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do something special for tonight. Everything, for the most part, everything was special for tonight. If Mad Mike was here and not recovering from Rex Banning Day, uh, he would be telling me right now about how nothing happened on this Raw. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Because nothing moved any story along, other than I would then argue. Let's see, we're going to have the hypothetical uh, wrap up, typical wrap up here without Mike here. So um, I would say hypothetically, uh, we did have um, this Kofi and and Seth thing happen, yeah. which I feel is going to be resolved. I'd imagine at Money in the Bank, mm -hmm. right? Possibly. Or, <laughs> or or broken or, up again on SmackDown or, tomorrow. Who knows? Or, or like like I was saying, it's almost like there were no new threats introduced. No, anywhere. no. Where no. again, even when you know, like I said, when the when other than when Sammy's the title match got schmazed up, it yeah, was, it wasn't like oh, a, a returning person or yeah. a new or a new yeah. face. It was. It well, wasn't like who's look who's yeah. back to return to, yeah. to spoil the party. It's like hey, look who's here again mm -hmm. to spoil the party. And it's like this will be fine but yeah it's not what we well, wanted necessarily well, say in my, my in the hypothetical uh uh this is the thing that makes the new day turn on kofi yeah. because he got the belt and got such a big head and has a new tag partner all of a sudden on yeah. monday night just at 24 hours later I, Ooh. I don't know i think it'd be i'd, I'd really like I hope it not. if they just keep him as a unit and just you yeah know, hey they've always got his back and they're meanwhile they're maybe off doing other things too uh, we'll, but we'll talk i'm sure about the importance of this wwe title yeah. win for kofi on so many levels but i think it's also important that new day stays unified in it mm -hmm. right i think like it's the epitome of power of possibility power of positivity mm -hmm. and and maybe they do down the line maybe like six months from now they get sick of it in turn yeah who knows who knows or maybe they get split up that's the yeah, uh, you know quote something. typical thing i feel right mm -hmm. um you know I, I don't think kofi can continue just coming out with both the new day guys and that's what they do yeah because they, <laughs> they gotta have something to do yeah and who knows how long they intend I, for him to ride with the belt and, and like we we're saying too when the main event went to hell you know it's like hey where were they to save him mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, where were it's like if Kofi hey, if if Kofi Kingston goes three months with the belt and I'm happy mm -hmm. and as long as they don't have him constantly lose in non-title situations too you know yes <laughs> it's like just yes keep, let, let let's him, get done with let that him be strong Jeez. you know and it's and it's Jeez. good that he has at this point pretty much history with everybody you know so all right I mean not not necessarily like you know these oh old rivalries that are going to resurface let's, but he's worked with everybody yes yeah let's 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 talk about Lacey evans mm. fighting with a handicap in heels <laughs> and still looking good yeah but again at least she did something mm -hmm. you know and it wasn't like just wandering out and yeah not you know I picking her spot yeah and again i don't necessarily see her as too much of a th a, th a threat but mm -hmm. it's you know we were just making or you know recently or before we went on here I was saying how it was reminding me of that Emmalina stuff where mm -hmm. Emma would come by out. The, by the way, picture like, right here. there. Can you reach that? Uh, I want to say inspired by 
This is the the picture is right yes. here on our stand. Our um, uh, I trying to remember her real name. Uh, Tennille Dashwood. Yes. Emelina. Uh, uh, picture here. I uh, I believe. Thank you. Thank you, Billy Johnson, for hooking us up with that. Because they pretty much paid that off with. Uh, now she's Emelina, and she came out and was like, "No, now I'm not going to do this anymore." <laughs> and that was the. They're 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 chat they're chat they're they're getting at it about four hour raws in the chat room now. Yes. Uh, anyways, um. <laughs> As long as the trains work after this we show, got right? The, the Hall of Famer. Uh, by the way, Hall of Famer. This, uh, this is a little more relevant. That was now. that was thanks to Brian. <laughs> I, uh, Brian Safransky hooked us up with that one. Because he was well, he was just in. I love. We have recently. Well, somewhat. let's see. We just represent like all the wrestlers with guitars. Yeah. And and questionable singing talent. And by the way, still sporting my what would uh, Elias do? Mm. Um, and that would be and that would be um play with himself at WrestleMania, um. Yeah, and he still didn't get to perform his rock opera. So I'm no, kind of no. Oh, that's coming to iTunes soon. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, the Elias rock opera mm-hmm. coming soon. Anyways, um, let me just double check here in the chat room. Uh, Tina saying that Gorilla Position, um, is that a site? I guess uh, just posted uh, Dean's farewell speech uh, at the end of Raw on Twitter after the cameras were off. So that's cool. Uh, I guess they killed him off TV hmm. uh, of source tonight. Uh, not the way Doug Bradley got killed off of uh, everything uh, Doug, this week. Doug Bradley's pretty resilient, though. I, yeah, you know, he'll I've be back. I've seen him die in everything. He'll, he'll, he'll I'm he'll sure. I'm sure. He'll be he'll be up the street for the Halloween bash yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> reading, reading Edgar Allan Poe, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe he'll have a little bit of bandage. Uh, you know, but, but that's, that's Doug Bradley. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, it's a UK wrestling podcast. Is Gorilla Position? So, uh, thank you. All right. Uh, I, I think that's all the um, um, wrapping up that is fit to podcast here this week. Uh, real quick, since you're not on the show tomorrow, mm-hmm. I think it's a version of the question that we're going to be asking. Um, I know. I know. Selectively, you only had so much of WrestleMania weekend you 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 watched. But of course, yeah, I'm sure you saw some things on social media. Yes. It can be a WWE thing. It can be an other thing. Mm-hmm. But to you, what was your uh, one uh, favorite, interesting, uh, this is wrestling an awesome thing of WrestleMania week? I, again, I haven't, you know, I, I watched. Just one thing. NXT. Oh. Just what you've seen. I thought Hall of Fame. Whatever you've seen. I thought Hall of Fame was really good, and I liked Tori Wilson. Yay! Yeah. yeah. And I thought that was, yeah. Like I said, she. I think she looks better now than she did 20 years ago. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. just maybe just kind of what she does with her look. I don't it's know. It's amazing what science does. And the, um, <laughs> what? And, and the whole that whole show, like I said, seemed kind of better paced and under control mm-hmm. than past years. So. I, I'm, not, I'm not sold on the um, seeing the fans behind their heads drinking yeah. big gulps. And yeah. checking their phones, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's the look we want when uh, Bret Hart's talking about his life and 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 best friend and 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 relative and mother of or, uh, and father of of uh, uh, niece beside her mm-hmm. beside him. You know, uh, it just it, it it got weird for me. And it's well, it got weird anyway. With well, that, yeah, yeah, know, it got was, weird, weird. It, it, yeah, 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 way, yeah. We're not gonna. But it was nice that didn't end up in any, any it, it, not too bad. worse situation than just some no. asshole I, I guess on the stage. It, yeah, <laughs> and, and I guess Brett did go to the hospital hmm. uh, officially. I don't think it was anything major. Just get checked out, make sure he was all right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he's he's been through some stuff, and and to take a spill like that is isn't like uh, Brett Brett's uh, bump card was full, and he had an extra one on Saturday mm-hmm. night. So. And, and like I said too, it was nice with. As, as opposed to more recent times we've seen him on WWE TV. It's like he, he seemed to be enjoy. well, I don't know about <laughs> enjoying himself more, but he seemed more personable, kind yeah. of, or a little more good-humored. Yeah, it looks uh, like he's coming around on some yeah. stuff, so that's good. That's good Less to see. Less cranky, so. Well, I mean, Brett's good to Brett. Yeah. Uh, Billy, uh, Tori Wilson saying she was part of uh, Many Guys Puberty, and the response by Biggie and Xavier Woods, I think it was yeah. just a very invigorating nod. Yeah, they they yeah. they cut to New Day a lot with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just in general. But but yeah, when they were like, yeah, uh huh, we can we can we can account. For well, that. there's so much Mania week and weekend and Mania itself to be talking about. Uh, we'll have the panel for Wrestling Mayhem show once again Tuesday night 9 p.m. Eastern time. We will have, as I men mentioned, pretty and proper. 
the Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin, and Lady Frost will be joining us. They are, are, are back from Mania Weekend, and I'm sure they have plenty. Uh, they actually, the Mania Week started early for them with some, some stuff going on. Well, everybody had to get out there, too. Well, yeah, yeah so. <laughs> they, they went out like Monday or Tuesday. Or, 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 we're or, relatively the, or they went somewhere the weekend before for some seminars, and I think they just continued mm -hmm. uh, into into the week. So uh, and, and we're kind of fortunate in that we're relatively close to the New York area, so yep. a lot of our yep. you know, friends of the show were able to make it up there, you know, which, again, that, that kind of makes you more – yeah, maybe even more interested uh, in checking out some of those events after the fact. Yeah, and congrats to even like AIW Absolute Intense Wrestling. Uh, sounds like uh, it was a blast. Was uh, that Jersey for, City? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was something like Jersey City. There was Slumber, slumber yeah. Party Massacre, which included yeah. such hot matches as Hornswoggle versus Scott Steiner. Mm -hmm. I loved labeled probably the only time ever. <laughs> it was ki kind of a bummer that Hornswoggle was not included in the DX induction into the WWE. Yeah, or or friend of the show, Krista Joseph. What the yeah. hell is that? I thought it was God. every member of DX, guys. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Well, both those guys better get their induction uh, next. Or Mike Tyson. You Maybe, know? You know, Mike Tyson was kind of in DX for, you know. Yeah. Until, where's Mike Tyson? Yeah. Mike Tyson's mad that he's not in a new punch out game that we don't know is actually happening. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that is enough. <laughs> Of all of that, uh, uh, Rob, um, thanks for joining us. Hey, I mean, no do, you, do you have anything that, that you would like to pl plug? Not not really. No, 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 no I just no. kind of been working a lot. Well, We've you, got you, the oh. IWC, Night of Superstars, mm -hmm. coming up this Saturday. That'll be fun to shoot. You'll be hanging out with that with the camera. It's always a good time. Yes. We'll have uh, uh, some of the Indie Wrestling US crew there. Uh, a lot of wrestling happening this weekend. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, check out PittsburghWrestling.com, uh, including uh, Friday Night Rides with a Y wrestling uh, night uh contest of champions i believe it's called um up in meadville for night of superstars including sting hacksaw jim duggan uh mvp hardcore holly and of course um fight society happening here in the pittsburgh area you can check out and black diamond happening sunday the wrestling card is full i'll be out in the nashville area if there's any mayhemers in tennessee cookville nashville area uh, uh coming up this weekend hit me up maybe we'll go see get some hot chicken it's been forever i haven't been natural in like four years so mm. i hope it's still there we'll see you guys next time they still have hot chicken I hope they still have hot chicken <laughs> and until next time keep it wrapped Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.